everybody, I'm here with Wrenchy Joe, and we're going to talk about what to do if someone's striking at you. Um, in this case, we're going to take a look at a haymaker. Um, there are a few different ways to block this. So if, like, if you're a traditional stylist and you're used to your outward forearm blocks, your double knife hand blocks, you know, those obviously can work and work well for you. Um, but if you're a woman and you're new to this, then I want to show you a block that is, you know, really effective. It covers your head. It protects your face. Um, and it's very simple to use. Okay. So we call it a rhino block in here, but essentially what I'm doing and, and listen, if you could get to the point where if I'm here and I feel like there's, you know, th that this situation is escalating, please, please, please get your hands up. Okay. Because that keeps him from striking you in the face. And when you have your hands up, you should have them so that they're forming sort of a visual barrier. In other words, if I feel like this is escalating and I do this, that takes that middle punch away. So if he wants to strike me, he has to come around my body, which is a lot easier for me to see. Okay. But if I put my hands up like this, oh my God, and I'm freaking out like that, I'm framing my face for Joe right now. So if I'm like here, then I, I just made a sort of picture frame for him. Okay, so now his eyes are centered in, and I don't care how much training you have, a punch coming straight down the middle is always harder to block. So we want to avoid that, okay? Now, the hardest part of our head is here, okay, right at our hairline. So I actually want to bring that down when I see the punch coming this way, if I forget to put my hands up, or I get scared and I don't make the block, and he does execute that punch, then I'm protected here as best as I can be, okay? Obviously not a great situation, but that's how the block starts. So with this rhino block, I'm gonna drop my chin to my chest. I don't need to be able to see his face, just his feet so that I know where he's moving. So if I'm here, the situation's escalated and he goes to throw that haymaker, I'm gonna cover. Now I've got nice, sharp, pointy elbows. So I want those elbows to drive right here in that shoulder pocket. Look, we all have our strings and our weaknesses. Elbows, my string. <laughs> I'm gonna use them. You don't have to step into this. Um, let's be real. If someone strikes at you and you don't have training, like we work in here on trying to move into this. So I'm gonna be stepping and just driving that in there. Super painful and I'm covering. So my forearms are coming around my head and I'm protecting, okay? But if you're scared, it could very well be that you step back and that's okay. You're still going to be protected, but you can't stay here long. So now if I'm looking at his feet and then I see that his body is here, I know. So I'm just going to drive that elbow, that pointy sharp elbow into his shoulder. That's going to give me a little bit of space. Even if I didn't know anything else to do, but to just drive those. And I can start to work on those eye gouges and those palm strikes that we've covered in other videos. So I'm going to show you this one more time. And that little bit did hurt. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it does really hurt. So hands up. Even if I step back and then pop, 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 I'm just throwing those elbows up and down, okay? So that you can continue there and make your defense. Hey everyone, do us a favor and hit subscribe and hit the bell right next to it. This way you'll be notified of the new video released every Wednesday.